Mark Lowen reporting from Athens. Well, let's go back to our top story. Superstorm Sandy, millions of people on the east coast of the US are still without power three days after the Superstorm Sandy struck. For many, the clear up has only just begun. And we can actually speak now to Neil Houston, who's originally from Hampshire in the UK, but who now lives in New Jersey. Neil, what's the situation with you? Uh, one, I, I believe that you've been quite severely affected by what was happening over the, the past few days. Yeah, fortunately for myself, my wife, personally speaking, we weren't affected too badly. Um, our house is actually about two to three miles inland of any water. Uh, the worst we suffered has been the power outage, which has gone for the entire state and a few down trees. But most of today we've spent helping my mother-in-law clean out um, her house with, with, uh, with her personal effects. Um, the water came up to about five feet uh, in her house, which is in a town called Tom's River. Um, and we spent most of the day, as I say, cleaning out our personal effects. And what's the situation with the water level now? Is it going down? It's completely receded. I mean, other than the mud, the debris, and, and the fact that the uh, fridge freezer was floating on its side um, a couple of days ago, you wouldn't know that uh, there'd been any water there. It's certainly not as high as it was. And the National Guard has been helping out too? Yeah, they've been called out this afternoon. Unfortunately, when I spoke to one of your colleagues on Radio 5 earlier today, he had mentioned to me that uh, he'd heard reports of looting. Uh, I hadn't heard that at the time, but since then, there have been several incidences that have come through on Twitter and Facebook of people travelling from as far afield as Princeton in New Jersey to, um, to basically feast off the carcass of these houses. It's, it's, it's very sad. But uh, now the National Guard and uh, the state police have been deployed pretty much all the way down the New Jersey coastline uh, where the barrier islands were, were, were mostly affected. OK, Neil Houston, who is now in New Jersey, describing the aftermath of Superstorm Sandy. Thanks for sharing that with us.